South Africa. I have the privilege of being here today in Stellenbosch with artist Miss Shaliza and she has a word from the Lord for us and we just want to hear what she has to release over us in this time because South Africa, it's time. Miss Shaliza, welcome. Thank you for giving us some of your time. Please tell us about this beautiful painting right here. In 2012, I painted seven paintings, The Colors of the Rainbow. This one is the second painting. It's the second color of the rainbow, orange. If you look at the second day of creation, it's literally the day where the waters were separated from the waters, the waters are from on the earth and the waters in the heavens. If you look at the redemptive gifts, the second redemptive gift is the gift of servant. It is your lowest gift. It's the one who works from, from, the, from the lowest point, who serves, who helps, who... And then also Jesus, when before he died, he went into that servant role where he washed the disciples' feet. Mm. So um, today, in the same sense, just to go through all those seconds in the Bible and just to give us a time frame from what, what God is doing in South Africa, um, we need to humble ourselves now, really humble ourselves so that God can exalt us mm -hmm. and really to go to that lowest, lowest place. When I painted this painting, um, I, my husband and my daughter bought me a, a beautiful pot, a vase, and that I put out in the garden. And um, I was busy with this painting and I realized it had to do with the death, death of Christ where he died. I, um, I got home one afternoon and when I came home the pot was completely um, broken. And I started crying but it was, it was something more than the pot that broke. It, it felt to me something more just broke. Yes. And I realized that if we don't get to that point where we break, where we completely break and give him everything. Mm. Like that woman who broke her alabaster um, flask. She gave her best. She didn't reserve anything for herself. She didn't keep yeah. anything back. She broke and she gave him everything. Mm. So then I used parts of the pot on the painting. You also have the, the crown um, there. Um, if you look at the second church, the end of, the, um, of Revelation, the second church is the church Smyrna. And he tells them if they overcome, he will give them the crown of life. If you look at the second spirit in the Bible, if you look at the seven spirits and you look at the second one, it's the spirit of understanding and that he will give us understanding of, and comprehension of what, mm. what he wants to do. And if you look at the opposite of understanding, it's misunderstanding and misunderstanding brings division. So just to pray that he will bring understanding. Unity. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. How, does, how can this influence our nation to transformation? Through the arts, I especially think arts, um, you obviously have music, you have dance, you have visual arts, but um, through the arts to make God known, to show yes. him, to display him, and to display his plans, to display what he's about to do. So I think the arts has a huge role um, to play. Um, in Habakkuk 2, you get that verse where Habakkuk complains to the Lord about what's going on. He says, Lord, what is going on? And the Lord, Lord tells him to go up to his high place and to write what he sees, to write it down on huge, big tablets so that everybody can see what, what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the role of the arts, just to, to write down the vision, to show it, because the moment you see something, it becomes established in your spirit, yeah, in your heart. Forever. Yeah, <laughs> if you hear something as well, a song or so. You were mentioning the color orange. Mm -hmm. So what does the color orange represent? And what do you feel like is the word, the rhema word for us now as a nation? Orange, orange especially is a very hot color. It's a burning color. It is a, not a comfortable place to be. If you look at the Exodus journey, it's really in the desert. It's hot. It's, it's a cleansing. It's a purging place. It's a, yeah. um, so I just think... It's very, very applicable to us right now. As I think having. so. It's a, it's a desperate gasping half oh, for air color. <laughs> like in the fire color. But just to go through it. Yes, so we want to encourage all artists. Michelle, thank you so much. It's, it's such an honor to have you. We want input. We want to hear the voices of the artists in this nation. Black, white, colored, pink, purple, it doesn't matter. We need your voice. Because God has created you uniquely to release a sound, to release a vision on a tablet, whatever it is. And um, it's such an honor just to be here. An honor. And South Africa, we believe that this is time. This is the time for us. Amen.